Konnichiwa. recording on this computer. So, um, uh, Cookie actually did. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. yes. Okay. So, um, while you, while you were doing technical stuff, we had Cookie read the first line, which is Ah, wasuretetta. Well, he typed in the answer, which is Oh, I forgot. Or in this case, we well, we forgot probably. Okay. And then, so in that case, the next panel will be for you, Anthony. Okay. Um. What's that? Tori? Is that Tori? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, it specifically is. Uh, Niwa Tori. Um, okay. Chicken. Niwa Tori wa nanto sa sa hara sa za hara kun ga katte kureru koto ni narimashita. Iyo ore tori niku shiki dashi. Ah. Niwatori wa nanto sasaku ga katte kureru koto ah the chicken is like something sasagusakun um um i guess we'll pause with uh narimashita what does that mean to become hi something became and we're talking about the the rooster right so something became of the rooster yeah. what happened is that the rooster it became katte right here from this cow. Do you know what this cow is right here? Cow? Ah, mm -hmm. that's to like raise an animal. It is. So who's raising this chicken? This rooster? Uh, Sasagusa. Yeah, Sasabara. Sasahara kun. Ah, Sasabara. Ah, Sasahara. Sasahara. Hi, hi. Kun. And is this something we're happy about or upset about? Um, not happy about. Oh, Kuriru is actually happy. Shimao ah. is unhappy. Oh, They're sure. like, thanks for taking care of our chicken. So it came to be Saseya-kun ah. task chicken. And then Saseya-kun's response, right? What does he say about having a chicken? Iyo ore Ah, I like, um, fried chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I like fried chicken. Sure, uh, I'll take your chicken, okay. your rooster off your hands. So those are not the things a new owner of a chicken should be saying. Sonna konnade, which means in this kind of way, kind of just saying things happen as time passes, kind of like nonsensical, whatever word. Oi, Shizuku. Hey, Shizuku. And that's um, Haru. He's way down, probably below or something, looking for Shizuku. And um, this bubble right here will go to you, Anthony. Ah, uh, Haruko inga saga. Oh, it actually starts here with the laughing. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, ha, 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 miti. Haruko inga saga shite masho. Um, ha, ha, ha. I did so. The first one was like laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Miti. Then. Harukun is searching. Yep, perfect. Searching. Um, Kutsushita sagashiteru ojisan mitai. He looks like an old man looking for his um, socks. And the next bubble oh. right here will go to you, Anthony. Ah, uh, soto. Shit. Soto shit. Toite. Mitsuka. Tara mata kito urusai kara soto shitoite softly doing something softly softly doing something in advance. Uh, Mitsuka tara mata kito urusai. Uh, so if you found if you found him again, um, it's going to get um noisy. Mm, you're, you're really close. Let's go think about. <laughs> What is going on in this scene? There's a lot of context here. So you didn't translate yeah. this incorrectly, but you were just kind of translating it without thinking about what these two people would be talking about. So character uh -huh. A, right? I don't remember what the heck her name was. Yeah. He says, ha ha, Haru's looking for you, basically. Haru's looking for something. But contextually, right? He says, Shizuku, doko? Shizuku, right? He's right over here. Oi! Shizuku. So he's looking for Shizuku. So she says, Haha, Shizuku's looking for ya. And her ref response is, Mitsukatara. 
Mata kito urusai. Right? So, if he finds me, is what he says, right? Mitsukatara. What's going to happen if Haru finds her? He's going to be, um, he's going to annoy her. Basically, yes. It's going to be really annoying. It's going to be for sure. And then we have a kata here. What does that mean? Um, it denotes reason. Yeah, because. some kind of reasoning because. And it's, it's, it's the reasoning for the first part of the sentence. This part right here. Softly yeah. so, doing something. Do it softly, yes. Do ah. it softly. You're 100% right. Softly. That's what it means. And she's saying, basically, don't yell on top of your lungs. Ha, ha, ha. Haru's looking for you, Mitty. Haru might hear you. It's be quiet so he doesn't find us. That is what it is saying. Um, so that's the stoite. Um, Otsukare desu ne. She's like, oh, you're quite tired. Ah, watashi, nani ka nomimono katte kitte agemasu. Benkyo no orei ni. He says, oh, um, uh, I... I'm going to go over and buy something to drink for you. I want to give it to you um, as a thanks for um, studying and contextually, you know, helping her study. And the next two bubbles, okay, actually the next three bubble, I mean, well, panels, we'll go to you, Anthony. Okay. Um, yep. Finally, it became quiet. Then, koko no tokoro arienai kurai hito ni kawata kara arienai kurai hito ni kawata kara. It's because there's like a few people who who takes interest in this place or concern then tsukareta then saying like um i'm tired i'm getting tired i i'm tired yeah I'm tired. that's basically what it says so koko no tokoro does mean this place. this place totally um in this context they're probably saying at this moment in time at this place, because in Japanese, place is, uh. is very much deeply linked with time. Uh, just because that would make the most sense in the context. But not that you translated it wrong out of that. You did translate Ari and Naigurai wrong, though. <laughs> this means an unbelievable amount of people, is what she oh, says. Not a okay. small amount of people. Which, in this case, it is a small amount. It's only two people. But for this girl, that's an unbelievable amount. Um, so it is uh, so out of co so context. Small is correct, but it doesn't give off the amount of um, exasperation she's giving off here. So she says, because oh. I'm involved with an unbelievable amount of people, I am tired. These and the koko no tokoro I probably translated as these days in this context, rather than the location. Um, so the next, since I explained that, um, it'll be my turn actually. Um, Miti, do you kimas? And she says, hey Miti, I bought you some ju juice. And then she sees that Haru found Miti. And Haru does the classic, uh, handsome boy. Shush, I'm watching the girl I like sleep. And this panel down here will be for you, Anthony. Haru, gambate. Haru, um... Gambata is cheering. I'm cheering for you. Try oh, your best. Um, and then he says, Yo! To Shizuku saying, Hey! And she opens her eyes and says, ha, ha, Haru, it's no money! Ah, do yo! And he says, Haru, when did you appear here? And then she says, Oh no, class! And the next last panel on this page will go to you, Anthony. Okay. Ma, i kara, nero yo. It's okay. Um, just relax, just sleep. Perfect. Hi. Why didn't you wake me up? Hmm? 
だってすげえ寝てるし、well, you see, um, I was totally sleeping this for such a long time. And he says, ka,、uh, kawaii かったから And he says, it's because you were really cute. And what does Shizuku think, Anthony? こいつはたまにわざとやってんのかと、um, こいつは、で、で、as for this guy,、um, たまに、um, occasionally on purpose doing, doing these things?、Mm. I would <laughs> hypothesize the kato here. Is, is like the ka and then to of、um, shock. He's basically saying, This guy, is he doing these kind of things on purpose? Is, would be、uh, my guess.、Uh, more like a rhetorical kind of question going on here.、Um, but、okay. it, it is more like a guess than like a for sure kind of thing. Makes sense in context.、Um, It's the first time I have ever、um, skipped class, and you know, he's not super happy about it, so Shimata is there.、Um, Iitenki, the weather is nice. So, this looks like one line, it goes like this. Okay, um, Kitto. 以前の私なら、ゴーゴーの屋上の空がこんなに青いということも気づくことはなかっただろう。It's like saying,、um, if this was me, if this was the old me or the previous me, ゴーゴーの、um, Gogo no Okujo no Soraga. The、uh, afternoon sky on top of the roof. Um, Kona Aoi to you Kotomo. This kind of, this, this kind of like, um, blueness. Like, I won't be able to like, um, notice it. If, that all? If this was, yeah. Yeah. That, um, that all is like, um, Asking for confirmation. If you were saying it out loud, With, that would be an okay translation.、Uh, But doro just means probably. It is a word of probably, vagueness.、Uh, And vagueness, vagueness, when you're speaking it out loud, by default is used as a word of confirmation. But she's thinking here, so she's just using it for vagueness, not as a word of confirmation. So, as a random tip, when translating in Japanese into the English language, the easiest way to do it is the Do it by clause, right? So the first clause is if it was me from before. And then this is the second clause. And for the second clause,、uh-huh. we don't have, we do, I guess, have the subject. But in this case, that's not actually the subject. This ga right here is actually connected to the adjective clause of konna tokoro ni,、uh-huh. I would say. And instead, it's watashi wa, is the subject of the sentence, the watashi nara, the me of before. So, the me of the boar probably would not have noticed、um, the, 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 the sky of the roof in the afternoon and how blue it is. So, it just would be a little bit easier to translate it that way.、Um, just because、okay. you would start with the subject, then the verb,、uh, then you have this relative clause describing koto, basically, which then has this subject and that. Verb down there, which in this case is an adjective.、Uh, just as a tip, if you get when you get confused. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out for the last one.、Um, my world has really gotten a lot wider, as in, like, more people I can see in my world.、Um, and I, I'm just gonna do the narration here. 今までは、um, what is that? Too small to read it.、Um, ノイズでし,、uh, で,したでしかなかったものがこんなに心、心地いいなんて。Um, so she's basically saying, up till now, this kind of noisy environment、um, 
it, it, all I would have thought about this kind of environment is like, ugh, it's so noisy. But instead, it's like so great vibes is what she said. <laughs> By translation, it's not very good, but that's, that's what she's saying. She's just saying, you know, up till now, she would hear, if she was in this similar kind of situation, rather than saying, mm, this is so nice, instead she'd be like, this this is just so noisy and hard to study because they're the people making noises, going, oi, blah, 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 type of stuff like that. So these right over here will go to you, Anthony. Is your mic stop working? Oh, wait, wanna... uh, Fuji is like mysterious, and then right. um, Kimochi is like um, feel good. I'm Perfect. feeling good. How strange. This feels great. And then I'm going to make you do the rest of the words on the ha bottom half of the page as well. Okay. Haru. This is like calling Haru. Um, Watashi Haru ni aite yokata. It's good that I have met you. Yep, I'm glad to have met you, Haru. I'm glad. 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 So she says, up till now, I really had no interest at all into anything except for studying. And when something like this happens, um, it's... It's so, I'm having so much fun. Um, Haru, I like you. And the bottom panel here will go to you, Anthony. Uh, kachikan ga kawaru. Um, kachikan. So the valuation, evaluation has changed. Um, so, so it was sekai ga kawatta no da, kawatta no da to. I don't know if if it's because the they say that the that the world is has changed. Mm. Yes. <sighs> shirenai means I don't know. You are correct. Yes. Kamo shirenai is normally translated as a separate Probably. thing, which means perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> uh if you're seeing shiranai, meaning I don't know, you're probably going to see the kanji for shiru. I don't remember what it looked like, but it was something like that. Oops. What was it? You'll see the kanji for it. It's a very basic kanji. It looks ah, yeah. like this. That's not to say that isn't that same verb. It is the same verb, but it's acting as like a helper verb, basically, with kamo. It's... um. Just so you, you don't see Kamo Shiranai with kanji all that often. Uh, well, you will see Shiranai with kanji. That's, that, that's my tip for okay. <laughs> identifying the differences. Um, okay. So instead, it says, perhaps this is what you might say. Um, you, perhaps you could say it means the world has changed when your okay. sense of values have changed. Moshi so nara, watashi no sekai o kaita no wa haru da. If that is the case, then the one who changed my world is Haru. And that is the end of the chapter. Wow, that was a spoil that was a scary way to end the chapter. Um Natsume to Haru. So her name's Natsume. <laughs> this is Natsume and Haru. Um zoom in more for you. The first panel here is one person talking, I think, is gonna go to you, Anthony. Uh Mitiwa. Um, it's like saying Miti is really good. Um, for the sake of um, his future, um, he's studying. He's mm, doing some yeah. studying. Um, Harukun wa nanika shorai no yume te arimasu ka? Oh, Harukun wa what's do you have like a dream for the future? I would like someone to find me when I'm playing hide and go seek. I understand you. 
What should I do? I have no idea what it is they're talking about. Um, Natsume to Haru. So Natsume and Haru, this first panel again. We'll go to you, Anthony. Okay, Haru-kun, Haru-kun, Haru-kun. Um, Ashita ora kai. Off. Off, ah, off kai de. O tomodachi de kitara nani ga yaritai desu ka? Um, so tomorrow, um, on the offline meeting, uh, my f- friends are con- coming. Well, what, what do you guess. want to do? Do you know what dekita means? Ah, uh, uh, to complete to to some. It's it is. Yeah, to to complete is fine. So this uh, does mean that. And when you do, and this is used with tomodachi to mean to make friends. When you're able uh, to make friends. Hi. Okay, okay. I see. So when she's able to make some friends at an offline meeting, nani, nani ga yaritai desu ka? What does that mean? Nani ga yaritai. Uh, what do you want to do? Hi. And this is set in the Ofukai Senjitsu, the day before they went to the offline meeting, which is way back a couple of weeks ago. Uh, is, is Tara, hi. Is Tara uh, translated to like when, uh, when or if? How Whichever you prefer. Translate. So Japanese uh, as a language does not distinguish yeah. a difference between if slash when. So you as a translator should pick what you think sounds better in English. Um, in this case, I, I would probably use when simply because I feel like Natsume as a person is very confident that she is going to make friends here. So if I was translating this, I would say, when I make friends at the offline meeting, what do you want to do, um, Haru? But there's nothing wrong with saying, if I make friends at this offline meeting, what do you want to do? Um, Hadu, right? Both of those are perfectly fine. There's no difference. So it just depends on how you want to interpret the scene for when translating. Um, but I feel like he's confident, so I would use when. That, that, that's the difference. Okay. Um, Hadu's response is, Takeuma Kyoso, which is, I want to do a race where you go on these like wooden pole things. Like, and that's what the Takeuma is called. Okay. Um, and the last panel of this little four comma comic is going to go to you, Anthony. Okay. Sonna space arimasen yo. Um, so konan, so konanda. Uh, so it's like saying, ah, mise, mise nai, mise nai, mise uchi. A ten, ten nai desu kara. Uh, so it's like saying, um, so first bubble is, so, that there, we don't have space for that. Um, then it's because it's in the um, inside the the store. Hi. So Nanda, what is that? Oh, well, Basically, what's there? That that is a literal translation. There, what? I would translate this with um, my understanding of Japanese humor as that's where you have the problem, right? But what's up with the, like, like, right? Like, because Haru says, oof, if I made friends, I want to go right over and do this horse race with the, the thingies. Rather than being like, that's weird. She's like, oh, we're inside a building, so there's no room for that. So her, this is, um, Tukomi, right? That's the, wait, that's where the problem is, right? Soko at that location. Nanda, what is up with that? Um... But how you translate it is 100% fine. It's just more of a how you translate Japanese comedy. It doesn't really make sense in English. Okay. Um, and this right here is for you, Anthony. Natsume-san wa community site o taikai shite kara blog o hajimeta you desu. Natsume-san wa community site o taikai. Oh, what's taikai? It's like leaving the meeting? 
Uh, Ty is not. Ty. Yes, leaving the meeting. Yes. Um, okay. It's uh, so she so not to me right. She was on a internet group of friends. She left that group yeah. of friends. That's Ty Kai. Ah. Uh, I, since um, Hatsume-san has um, left the um, online community, that she has like started blogging. Perfect. Are Pasakan Hiraki Banashi. Says, huh? He left uh, her computer on. So you ka gakko ni motte kite ii no ka? Is it okay for her to be bringing this over to school? And this is what um, uh, Natsume writes on her blog. Gorupe sa za asako no oshiete a geru. So this is like her name, I th her online name, that would be my guess. So she's saying, I shall give you information from. Uh, Gorupeza Asako. So Gorupeza is probably the last name, right? And Asako is the feminine first name. You shouldn't use your real name on the internet. So she says, I'm gonna give you knowledge from me because it's a blog, right? Um, so uh, read as much as this as you'd like, uh, Anthony. No furigana okay, here, um, so it's gonna be a little bit hard. Oh, omajinai. I don't want. Uh, what's omajinai? Hi. Summary. Um, I believe it. Summary? It shouldn't be summary. It should be like magic spell or something. Uh, oh, okay. Omajinai. Good luck charm. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Saikin. Um. Oh. Shinyu. Ga dekimashita. So lately, I, I recently I made a close friend. Yep. Um, Namai wa mitte te you no kawaii desho. So he's called Miti. Um, isn't it um cute? Um, chotto hitai tsumetai tokoro mo tsumetai tokoro ga mo aru kedo. So it's it's a bit cold, but um, um, sore wa tabum zen zenyo mai mai se zenyo ga Siberia tsundora tsundora chite chihu chihu. No, a uh, chitai is it chitai? Chitai. Um, um it's similar no. to chitai, but I don't think it actually is chitai. Oh, uh, it is chitai, no, right? No. Chitai. Okay. Um. So. No, no, no. Um. Sorry. What happened since you? Like the previous country, I feel like he's, he's referring to like this previous. Zensei is saying her previous life. Previous life got Siberia. So this Siberian? no right here Siberian. is actually not a period right here. This no is connect is telling us that this ah. is a relative clause adjective describing the next the noun. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Well, what's what's that? You'll say means um fairy. You'll say fairy. Ah. Uh. Okay, then you got Siberian, Siberia, Siberia, Tundra, Chitai. So it's, it's like a fairy from the um, Siberia Tundra? Yeah. When was she? <laughs> when was she um, a fairy in the Siberia dis region? I see. <laughs> then, sate sate. So wait, wait, wait. Uh, Tabun ah. Sensei. Ah. <laughs> when, when, when was Mitty a fairy from the Chiberi Andora um, this region? When? It's probably in her previous life. In her previous life. That's why she is so cold. Ah, okay. Ah, Siberian. Okay, okay. 
guy. Then, sate sate, so ko de yube wa shin, a dai shin yu miti de to zut to zut to nakayoshi de irare ru yo ni omajinai o kaketanda. Sate sate, it's like, well then, so ko de yube wa at that night, um, um, my close friend, meet, meet, very, very close friend, uh, I made a very close, I made a very, um, I, I made would, friends with. <laughs> I would personally start yeah. at the end of the sentence, What that means? Uh, I've. I've made a good luck charm. Yeah, I made a good proud. luck charm for Yoni. You know what Yoni means? For, for, for mm. the um, for their friendship. So so so. For how for, long shall they yeah. get along? Always eternally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for, yeah. Me and Mitty will forever for, get along well as great friends. Yes. Great. Yes. Mazua Nakayoku Naritai Tageto no Kami no Keo Nitai. I think it's Nippon. For a Nippon. Ah, so a Mazua. So, first of all, yeah. So, in order to be good friends, uh, the, the hair, I'm going to target the hair, does the hairstyle. Uh, nothing about hairstyle in there. Kam is kamino ke? Well, what's kamino ke? Kamino ke is wig. Is uh, it wig or hair? Uh, hair. <laughs> hair. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I see. <laughs> he. Uh, you, did, see, so that he wants you to make a magical good luck charm of getting along well. So, if you the first your target who the person want to get along well take two strands of hair. That's what that's saying. Oh, it's too um, strange. the strands is really more the two nippon. This is kami hair, and ke has like multiple translations, but in this case, it's letting you know we're talking about the strands. But it also means hair. Uh, we uh, say hair uh, hair is what it says. Kami no ke hair uh, hair. And this is Nitty's response to that, <laughs> which means she got chills running down her back. And that is where we will stop for today. We finally finished chapter three. <laughs> uh, hi, hi. Hi. So I will.